All right, welcome back to Fast Gadgets. In this episode, I'm going to make a USB bootable thumb drive using a Linux Live image. So the first thing I have to do is install the software. And keeping in mind, this is on Fedora, but it should also work on CentOS and Red Hat as well. Um, if you're using an Ubuntu um, system or Debian based, you would use apt-get and there's probably also a software tool available as well. But the tool that I usually use is the software tool that's a part of Fedora. And I can do a quick search. If I just do a search for USB, there's actually a few uh, tools that I can install. So there's two here. Uh, I'm going to install both. I've used the Fedora Live USB Creator uh, quite a few times, but uh, it looks like the ratings are not so good. We'll see how that one works. And then there's one here that is actually a multi-writer, and I do want to see how well the multi-writer functions. Um, I'm not actually going to write multiple USB drives, uh, but I do want to install it and write at least one and see how well it does. All right, so I've got two installed now. All right, we're going to take a look again. All right, so I've got the uh, Fedora tool installed. It asked me for my uh, root password. And this is the interface here. Now, before I go on, uh, I just wanted to show you that I've got a 32 gigabyte um, USB 2.0 device in the drive here. And I do want to make a, a Fedora workstation. And it looks like I can create the live USB uh, without first downloading the ISO. So let's see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and click Create Live USB. So I guess it does need to do the download. I'm going to go ahead and click write the image immediately when the download is finished and as soon as this download is completed it'll immediately write it to disk no need to wait or ask me again it's actually selected the correct drive so shortly here um, it'll go ahead and finish up and then I should be able to use this thumb drive because I need to put it in my uh, AMD desktop which I featured in an earlier video you may have seen about overclocking um, the AMD uh, X6 Phenom 2 so I have a 6 core 1055T AMD and basically what I'm gonna do is turn it into a dual boot system so I'll have Linux on there and I'll have Windows on there. Right now it's just a Windows 10 system but before I can do that I've got to get this thumb drive running. Alright so the image is finished writing and I'm gonna go ahead and click close and I'm gonna close this and what I'm gonna do now is do a reboot alright well for whatever reason um, the normal shutdown isn't working so I'm gonna issue a reboot from the command line there we go alright on these systems I forgot I shut down the system completely there's the so-called Nova button um, on the side it's next to the power button and I'm gonna press that oops wrong one we'll try again it's very difficult to feel and press give me one second okay I was able to hit the Nova button 
and now I have some options here. I don't know if you can see them. I've got normal startup, BIOS, um, boot menu, and system recovery. And I'm going to go into boot menu. And I've got my hard drive, and I've got the USB device that it recognizes, which is my thumb drive. And I'm going to go ahead and try to boot from the thumb drive. And the whole point of this is just to test and make sure that the thumb drive is functional. Okay, so I at least have the boot menu. I'm going to try and show this to you. There we go. So I can start Fedora Live. I can test the media. I think I'm going to go to right to start the Fedora Live and see what happens. All right, starting to boot up. All right, well, found out what I needed to find out. I've successfully booted into Fedora Live. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. I don't need this. And if I go back in, I'm on the live CD right now, and I tell it to go ahead and re restart. And I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna pull the thumb drive out. And now I should boot back into my regular operating system. So that's all it takes to get a bootable Fedora key working. Uh, hopefully this helped you out, and I do recommend giving it a test. You can uh, install a uh, live USB drive on any computer you have and test it before you ever consider doing um, an installation or a dual boot, whichever you prefer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.